Well, remember that hiccup we had when we uh, entered the white coat ceremony our D1 year? Well, that may or may not have been because of me. And that's the Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health. We're going to begin our ceremony this morning after watching an, an interesting seating um, arrangement. Needless to say, if you want to sit correctly tomorrow, don't let me lead tomorrow for graduation. All right, I have one more thing to say. Hey, Dr. Motohari, I heard sick days are better suited in Greece. What's up with this kid? Literally, he's chewing ice all the time. Doesn't matter where you are or what time of the day it is. You're taking an exam. You're in the middle of the lecture. He's chewing ice. I turn around. It's Trenton. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. Yeah, so I don't really know what's going on. I've honestly had, I think, such great suggestions, but I haven't heard anything back from class leadership. And I feel like I'm just getting ignored. <laughs> As class leadership, we get a lot of uh, complaints from our very understandable class. You know, they have very uh, normal expectations of what the school wants us to do and what the school can do for us. So obviously all their very reasonable expectations were never met because we never brought it up because it made absolutely no sense. And you know who you are to ask me that question. And I told you, of course, I'll bring it up. I never did. Dude, I'm not getting any feelings. What do I do? You already did one class too. Why don't you just declare your next one as competency? That's what I did. I just did one and declared the next one as competency. You'll be fine. Hmm. Cool. I declare competency! Did that seriously just happen? Like, declaring a competency? It's not a thing. What, like, is this gonna be like last week where you tried to declare a post-op? I mean, really, what is it? It's a class two. All right, well, let's take a look at it. <laughs> this doesn't even look restorable if it was an actual x-ray. I think we might better take an x-ray and take a look rather than a cartoon image. Just saying, maybe I'm picky. I don't know why I told Theo to declare his next one as competency. I did like 10 before I did a competency, but don't tell him I said that. Oh my god, I'm tired of this. I wish I was in CC1, so I could just send it to the lab, they would set the teeth. What the hell am I doing? I'm tired of this, I'm out. Sick of this nonsense. Can we please send this to the lab, Dr. Rocco? Stop whining, you big baby. It's not that hard, okay? That's how we roll in CCU2. Confession. So I uh, hiked or ran the Grand Canyon rim to rim to rim, which was over 50 miles, did some toenails in, and instead of waiting for them to go necrotic for months, I surgically removed them in my van. I took a cassette from oral surgery and some carbocaine, got the job done. Uh, next go in the van, I'm thinking a personal vasectomy. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I can't seem to get any faculty to agree on any treatment plan, and it's really making me doubt what I understand. We've discussed this many times. I just don't know why you're not prepared for this. We're going to take out the tooth, number 18, right? Yep. And we're going to, you're going to section it, and we're going to take it out as atraumatically as possible. That tooth doesn't need any treatment. Okay. And we're going to do a bone graft. Mm -hmm. Perhaps in this particular case, we'll do an immediate implant with using the Versus system. Mm -hmm. You want to give it a try? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. And then we'll bone graft the voids around it and use it probably at a resorbable membrane. What's the deal with this PPE? The other day, Miss Level told me to put on three gowns. Is that really necessary? Hi, Miss Kelsey. 
How can, can I give you a start today? Yeah, we're going to do a profi. Okay, and um, can you cover this before you get started? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure to cover that. Yeah, and uh, it looks like Jordan needs to put on her other gloves. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, make sure that happens. All right, uh, medical history looks great. You can have my start. Awesome, thank you so much. Sir, can you put these on for me? Uh, Thank yeah, you. Sure. Thank um, you, sir. Okay. Um. Dude, I'm like so sick of this PPE. This is ridiculous. I have three gowns on. Do you see any hygiene faculty around? Let me check. Coast is clear, baby. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. We're, we'll be right What's with you. We'll be right with you. Uh, we'll be with you What's What's going in just on? a second. Okay. Um, are we still doing the cleaning today? Or yeah, we will. Okay. Okay. We're gonna get started today. I'm leaving you back here. Oh, I can take those yeah, off. Yeah, you don't need those. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see everything clear now. All right. Ready? We're gonna do a cleaning today. I'm gonna start with some probing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. So, I'm still not clear on what a spec pulpotomy is. Is it just a regular pulpotomy? Is it a partial pulpotomy? Um, is it kind of like the name brand version of a pulpotomy? But. Still not sure. So I was doing a pulpotomy on one of my patients and I needed to use a specific material. And it was very sensitive material to how much you use it, how you use it, and how you take care of it. And I ended up spilling half the bottle. It was for Macrisol. and we had to fan the whole building for three days. I couldn't breathe for two days. Libo put me on oxygen, the oxygen tanks that we use here at the school. It was great. Now we don't use it anymore. He put it away. No one's allowed to use it because I spilled half the bottle. Cut. Oh, I'm a big drunk. If I had a dollar for every time a patient asked me where I'm from from, I could pay off my loans and probably someone else's. I'm from from Florida, and the reason I speak good English is because I'm from from Florida. All right, so I think uh, for me, the biggest challenge outside of dentistry when I go out to practice would be to try and feel calculus. I've been wanting to feel it. I've been trying to feel it. I've been asking my faculty to teach me how to feel it. But still, you know, four years on, and if I still put my finger on that explorer there, I don't feel it. I really don't feel it. So if you ask me whether I feel it, I probably would nod my head, but I know I'm never going to feel it. Oh, no, again. Take home patients again. Why is it so convenient that he schedule all his patients on me when he's on rotation? What the heck is going on? What I'm about to share is um, very uh, sensitive, and I don't really share this much with people, but um, D2 year in Sim Clinic. <sighs> Still gives me chills up my spine, but um, I was struggling, and uh, I just felt like I just needed some guidance. But instead of guiding me and kind of showing me what I did wrong, just had me redo over and over and over and over. Tooth number five. I had to do, I had to prep that tooth 15 times. Who's got time for that? Apparently I did. Every time I see number five now in clinic, it just takes me back. Wes, are you okay, man? Oh, sorry. Um, like I said, I went through a lot and uh, still recovering, but I'm good. Who wants lunch? Here, can I get a start? Oh, sure. Hi, Alicia. What are you doing today? Um, just an amalgam restoration. Oh, okay. Do you have everything out that you need? Mm -hmm. Oh, it should be all set up. Where's your amalgam shave guide? Amalgam shave guide? Yeah, you need an amalgam shave guide. Oh, okay. I'll go get go it. Go get it. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Can I get one amalgam shave guide? All right. <clears throat> Ready? 
Okay, so I have a, a couple things that I, I want to go over. Um, earlier this year, I uh, I actually got my my thumb infected. I can I can show you right here on the camera. If you look at that, I uh, got a thumb infection. I don't know how I had that. It was not delightful, but I definitely took home uh, some a syringe of some uh, lidocaine and you know put it right in and then. Uh, poked it with an explorer real hard and drained it the pus and everything so that was that was fun another thing that i i did here i never really figured out how to upload pictures to axiom so i never did not once i never uploaded a single picture to axiom i have a folder in my google drive that's like my patients and has all the photos in there but i didn't know to upload one to axiom couldn't figure it out i tried didn't figure it out said all right that's not happening gonna get down to the bottom of this there's only two tays at asdo it's tay from d3 and tay from our class tayum d4 class Teham does not go by tay Teham never said to call him tay my name is Teham. i may or may not have taken a perio cassette home and may or may not have cleaned my dog's teeth with it so we're here for screening, um, we've got our blood pressure and here's your x-rays. Okay, great. So when was the last patient's dental visit? 20 years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are they having pain anywhere? Everywhere. Okay. Yeah, ASDO, this is a screening appointment, so we really wanted to introduce you to the dental Rachel, school and Dr. talk Rachel. about how it works to be uh, a patient here. Sorry, uh, can I get this start really quick, but um, the patient saying upper left is hurting, so what do I do right now? Um, okay, so why don't you get Dr. a, Rachel, get a PA a and... Uh, uh, am I going to get my... Uh, I have an ER patient. I have an ER patient. Okay, you're third. Excuse me. I have a crown perfect for competency. Okay, okay. I'll be there fourth. Wait, I have my uh, competency watch, Cheyenne. Could you help me with that? Okay, how about you reschedule that back with the, the Denture King? <laughs> so, can I have my crown today? Um, so, how the uh, dental school works is we do comprehensive care. So, it's going to be at least three visits until we start on dental treatment. So, I've been studying for boards. Oh, I just yeah. don't, don't understand occlusion. Occlusion? Really? Yeah. Do you, Can you help me? Do you know? Girl, I know everything there is to know oh, about occlusion. Perfect. Yeah. You can go and close that computer. I got you. Perfect. Yeah. I just had a competency you know, presentation with Dr. Alex and Dr. Cohen. I practically taught them about occlusion. Oh, awesome. Crazy, right? Yeah. I know everything there is to know about occlusion. Occlusion. Pff, you know? Mm -hmm. Occlusion. Yeah. Right. Like everything there is to know mm -hmm. about it and so you know it's when the yeah the mm -hmm. teeth you yeah. know upper and this is the lower everything mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. about occlusion so i uh I just need to stretch a little bit and uh, you know and I'll give me a second it's going to come to me but are you ready mm -hmm. occlusion mm -hmm. No, yeah, I'm excited. I don't plan to date anyone. I'm not looking for relationships. I'm not in the same career. I want a businessman, someone to run my practice. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not looking for any of that right now. So, Nava, what happened? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie the Tooth. During the day, I like to crunch, and at night, I try not to grind. Hey, look! That's me! I know all, where all the candy's hiding. So, tell me a little about yourself. Hmm, well, uh, I guess I am known for my love of sugar. Anytime, anywhere, I love sugar. 
And sometimes I get brushed, but not always. <laughs> um, some people call me a high carries risk. So, um, but all that having to say, I have a lot of cavities. Hmm. Well, tell me more about those cavities. I'm a great listener. Um, it goes past the enamel into the dentin. Oh, and what else? Oh, I don't know. It probably goes down the root and approximates the pulp. Carrie, you are the tooth of my dreams. Let me take care of you. I can take you out. Wait, are you a dentist? What? No, I'm an oral surgeon. Who, me? Yeah, I think I can pull her. I've never met a tooth I couldn't pull. So, was it a match? Hmm, let me think about it. Um, no. Ever heard of being scared of the dentist? Yes, that's a thing. Are we rolling? Yes. Okay. I mean, I didn't find love, but I'm glad I did this. I got to make some good connections. This episode is not endorsed by the students of ASDO. Brush two times a day to keep those cavities away. And for the record, dentists are not scary. Just take a moment and look around the room. Okay, maybe there's only a few that are scary. Or six? Wait, I think I counted eight. Can we cut this? Uh, so, where do I begin? i say around like six, seven years old, I had to get a tooth pulled out. So I go into the, the dental office and I told my mom, hey, uh, come with me. I'm feeling really scared. Guess what? She ends up not coming in. And the doc uh, sits me down, pulls out my teeth, didn't even get me numbed up. So I see a therapist now for both. So thank you for that. And it just, the list goes on and on. When I was 16, 17, I had to get a filling done. I specifically told them for a tooth colored filling, guess what they gave me? A silver filling. Anyways, the list just goes on and on, but just so much trauma. One time I uh, was skateboarding and I chipped my tooth and the doc was going on and on about like needing a root canal and a crown and a bridge and an implant. I was like, like make it make sense i had no idea what he was talking about so my traumatic experiences with dennis is just beyond beyond like it's just crazy so that's pretty much it but you know what it feels really good to get this off my chest like i feel like just this weight has been lifted off my shoulders i really appreciate you you know listening to me is do you have anything else do you have any experiences that you'd like to share with me because honestly it feels so much better to talk about it Wait, what's that noise? I can I can hear you typing. Who who are you texting? What what's going on? Oh, you can hear that. Um, yeah, I just I just had to send a quick text. No big deal. Yeah, actually, I did have a similar experience with a dentist. So you know, the first dentist that I went to, you know, he was super cute, but he just kind of I felt like he didn't really know what he was doing. He kept saying that I had cavities that I needed to be filled and crowns that I needed to get done, and I just. I really felt like I needed to talk to someone else and so then I went to the second dentist and then that dentist was you know kind of an older gentleman and we just you know he also told me that I needed some fillings but I just felt like I just needed to get like you know some whitening done and kept really talking my ear off and I don't understand why some dentists just like they don't stop talking like they keep telling you what they want from you like you constantly have to floss and you constantly have to brush and I'm like I get it I just need some whitening you know and then so then I went to a third dentist and then that dentist was super hot but he well I mean not hot you know but just kind of like he was cool he was whatever and I really liked that guy that guy was great he did my whitening I did zoom whitening um get five hundred dollars off with code ck um but then yeah you know I've just I've had a lot of experience with dentists just like you have two same exact experiences so I totally get it so, Cindy, what do you think? Do you think it's a good match? Um, no, he, he, he sounds a little fruity, no? I mean, I, I'm, I'm good. So, Enrique, what about you? Do you think it was a match? 
Man, I am head over heels for her. I have not had a connection like this in the longest time. I mean, she's just so devoted to finding the right provider who's just going to take care of her and give her the exact dental treatment that she needs. I'm like, I think she could be the one. I think this is it. Three, two, one, go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to look at the same time. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's hard. I'm telling you. No, I'm just having making a funny face. So you don't have to look straight at the. Dude, I'm not getting any feelings whatsoever. <laughs> Dude. I'm like getting no. <laughs> I'm getting no fillings. Fillings. Like, what do I do? You've already done one. Just declare your next one as competency. That's what I did. You'll be fine. Sorry, my phone rang. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, but my phone. That was the best thing. <laughs> I knew it. I just do it one more time. I'm not even gonna like stop it. Just go. Ahead. Yeah, and chew the ice. It's really, really cool. close to the microphone. I haven't. Chew the ice really close to the microphone. Okay, give me a second. I gotta like get a chunk. These are. This is ice is harder than what I usually do. That tooth doesn't need any treatment. 